You know, no one ever tells you how hard it is being a vampire. At first, the immortality, the eternal darkness, it sounds real nice on paper. But when you're really living that life, it's much harder than it seems. I mean, you'll turn to ash if you go out in the sunlight, so you can forget about a day job. So as far as employment goes, we're already at a disadvantage. Not to mention, humans are so ableist towards the vampiric community. I mean, just look at the humans, alright? They're walking in the sunlight, looking in the mirror all day, eating garlic. They get to sleep in the nice little Casper mattress at night, while we try and get our eight hours in a pine box. And they completely take it for granted. You know, as a strong vampiric woman, I feel oppressed, and I think it's time that we speak out on these issues and start spreading awareness. I'm also 116th Cherokee, which adds on a whole nother layer of oppression. What are some things they don't tell you when you become a vampire? Well, for starters, the fangs, when they come out, they really hurt. It's worse than childbirth, I'm telling you. That's why we get the angry face and we look so mad when we're trying to eat. I mean, just imagine constant, unbearable pain every time you're trying to have a meal. One day, I was at a routine dental checkup, and I just said, you know what? I can't do it anymore, and that's the day that I scheduled my appointment, and I got my fangs removed. Now I got two little veneers. Best decision I ever made. And don't even get me started on the blood. You know how fast we have to drink our meals? I've aspirated at least 12 times. People just don't understand the struggles that we go through. How many people have I drank? One a day. It's like a multivitamin. You know, I tried going vegan, but my protein levels are just so low, my doctor said I can't do it. 